Off white Air Jordan 5s. Have you guys seen these? This is awesome. These are coming out very, very soon. Um, again, Virgil has um, smashed it really with when it comes to the collaboration, when it comes to trainers, right? For the most part, that's a that's probably um, one of his main strengths, I would say. That and maybe the ability of making graphic t shirts. I think he's probably one of the best graphic designers for t shirts in the scene out there. I think his ability, because I think it's very difficult. Maybe it's not difficult. I think it's there's a very it's a very particular skill to make a graphic t-shirt. It's not just about because some prints don't very don't correlate well to being put up on a wall. I would imagine so, right? So the ability to know what works on a t-shirt is very particular. And he has a very good knack of doing it. Oddly enough, I think some of his best graphics are stuff he's done away from off-white. I think the off-white stuff's a bit, you know, it's not for me. I think that logo is a bit gaudy, but again, I get the appeal of it. You can spot it from a mile away. It's great branding. But I think the stuff he does for his club nights, the stuff he does for his friends or the friends and family stuff, the stuff that he did for Louis Vuitton, um, the stuff he did for Louis Vuitton when he did the little activations around the world and he had a little jewel on the map showcasing where he's at. Brilliant, genius ideas. And then secondly, the obviously the thing that really, 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 um, cut up, uh, really catapulted him to the stratosphere is the stuff he's done with Nike. It's been flipping out of this world, right? To design 10 shoes with Nike with the 10 collection he did and for each shoe to be, you know, three times worth his value on the hype you know, on the kind of resale market and for the, all of them to be shoes that people actually wear day to day like there's not a day that goes by especially in uh, you know in like trendy parts of east london like shoreditch and stuff or in liverpool street or wherever maybe that i don't see somebody wearing one pair of these shoes like they're so popular it's amazing to see that goes to show just what just how talented he is and the ability to kind of design uh shoes that are kind of timeless to have that ability and then also the ability to kind of design sneakers that average folk want to wear i think that's a very that's the that's the talent really thinking about it that way the idea that you can design a sneaker not only for that you know the eccentric fashion you know fashion crew that want to to get papped you know going to fashion shows and stuff but just for your regular folk who just wants to kind of have a, something on that's a bit special that's a little bit limited edition that has a bit of pop to it um that's really cool as well because that was something that was kind of i think a slight on the back in the day collaboration where it was just colorways. A lot of those designs were only really kind of marketed towards sneakerheads, the kind of person that would have a matching t-shirt and a baseball hat. But nowadays it feels as if like the new crop of designers or the new crop of brands out there have a real knack of designing their shoes in a way that, uh, you know, the general public will want to wear them. And again, if you do that, you can kill the market with sneakerheads, fashionistas and the general public, you know, you're onto a winner. And then here's another one. Virgil's onto a winner too because I'm a big fan of Vic. And again, I'm Jordan 5s are not my favorite model. I'm a big, you know, you know my favorite model in Jordans is definitely the Jordan 4. Probably even over the Jordan 1. It's my kind of staple shoe. I love it. It's the kind of shoe that I think kind of suits my style the best. But I'm not, again, and I've had Jordan 5s before. I've had Jordan 6s, 7s, I've had 8s, I've had 10s. I've even had 13s. And I've always found the 5 to be the most bulkiest, the most uncomfortable to wear, especially with jeans. This only really worked well with kind of shorts. Um, I think the only person that actually wore Jordan 5s well with jeans, especially back in the day, skinny jeans, was for, probably Fiofis London. He made them things look super swaggy. But again, it's the height, it's the skinniness, it's the kind of just general, you know, the way he kind of carries himself, being able to kind of rock them awesome. But apart from that, I don't see anyone wearing them really well. Or maybe kind of back in the day, Will Smith, right now, Fresh Prince, would wear them without laces. That was actually a cool way to wear them, especially with the elastic. You can kind of get away with it. But these look legitimately cool, just the way they are, like an actual shoe. I'd wear the fuck out of these. These look bloody awesome. So it's a Jordan Jordan 5 that uh, um, uh, Virgil's done for Off-White. And they're coming out, I think, for All-Star NBA Weekender. That's coming up really soon, right? NBA All-Star Weekender. Again, don't get me started on NBA. I have no idea what it's about. I know I'm black. I know I have big hands. I'm tall. But I have no idea about basketball. But as a shoe, beautiful. Um, again, really um, interesting design overall. It looks like it's kind of inside out, outside in. Same sort of thing he's kind of done with, with his, most of his collaborations. You've got this weird translucent fabric on the top. And then we'll obviously with the contrast stitching, you got these bright white laces, and he's just he's just essentially left the the midsole like the OG black ones that everyone kind of wears, the OG kind of uh, Jordan Five blacks, um, the ones that I think that people sometimes get the OGs that are yellowed, and they kind of do that thing where he kind of uh, clear up the the icy sole. They just, anyway, they just look flipping great, really really cool, coolly done. I'm not too sure the significance as a whole on both ends, but hopefully you read the article and we'll find out. But a bit again visually. They look really great, man. I'd wear the F out of these. These are so, so good. And you've got shoelaces on again on the laces. Standard with the quotation marks. 23 on the side. 
behind this sort of like weird meshy kind of thing i don't know where you'd get that kind of mesh where it's, it's familiar to me somewhere and again on the inside you've got the the stamp um the off-white stamp that everyone knows and loves uh you've got the zip tie which i'm sure people are gonna leave on their shoe i clipped mine off on my jewelers because i've got the i've got the chicago's and the all whites which I've, I've definitely clipped that tag off of mine i don't wear them like that but then you've got the clear eyes you saw with the jump man underneath again really really cleverly done um it's really hard to go here uh, becoming the talk of Paris Fashion Week after being unveiled at Off-White's Fall Winter 2020 presentation, we have now have a closer look at the previously rumoured Jordan, Off-White Jordan 5. Uh, despite early conflicting rumours, the the, uh, the offic- uh, officially revealed on the feet of the models and Virgil Abloh during the show, the upcoming collaboration re- reimagines the OG Black Metallic, which is what I was talking about, right? That's the, that's the one that was, you know... That was on everyone's feet, maybe, I don't know, uh, late 2000s, maybe? Was it late 2000s? I'm not sure, sure, but late 2000s? Like, oh, what a good era for shoes, man. What a great era. And he's essentially done the same sort of things. I wonder, I wonder if that's the inside of the shoe. But yeah, so the midsole is perfectly the same, isn't it, really? It's basically the same. The same midsole, but he's basically flipped it inside out, maybe. Maybe the fabric on the in- Maybe it's, that's what it is, right? Is that how it's like? Is that the fabric that's meant to be on the inside, on the outside, on the outside? Is it? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that is it. Let's see the, the inside. Can we see the inside a little bit from the top? Yeah, maybe that might be it. You know, I'm not too sure if that's actually true. But someone in the comments, let me know. I'm not sure what the significance of the holes are. But as you can see, it's sort of like a velvety suede upper. I had this colorway, but I had the later versions. I'm not sure. I didn't, definitely didn't have these old school ones. Uh, but yeah, I always found the tongue really bulky and really hard to wear. It's really odd to lace them up all the way to the top. It looks kind of naff that way. Um, like this guy here with his feet jumping up. I hate that jumping up style on sneaker headshots. Like it's so annoying. That sort of like slow motion thing with the pin rolls. Like oh shoot me in the face. There's, have you ever seen a sneakerhead wear a trainer good? Like ever? Never in my life have I seen a sneakerhead wear a trainer nice. It's always like regular folk or fashion people that can wear trainers, which is the most annoying because you don't want them to wear it, innit? Like, <laughs> but they're the heels that wear it well. So I guess maybe he's maybe it's the material on this little mesh bit here that he's replaced. I don't know where it comes from. And just to see what the design inspiration is behind it, where he kind of, where he decided to do that way. But it looks really cool. Is it in material on the inside? I don't know what it is, but anyway, let's carry on with the article. Uh, ba 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 Colorway, silhouette with striking with translucent TPE deconstructed design. Okay, that's what it is, right? TPE, right? Is that what it is? That material is TPE? What's TPE? What's TPE material? Let's see what Google says about it. TPE material. What is that? T, um, thermoplastic elastomers, uh, sometimes referred to as thermoplastic rubbers, are a class of co- copolymers or physical mix of polymers, usually a plastic and a rubber that consist of materials with both thermoplastic and elastomic elast- properties. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. So that's what he's basically made this thing into. Okay. Let's see if we can, what's, what's a TPE sheet? Let's see what that looks like. If it's got the kind of mesh on it as well. Okay, so the same thing, just plastic essentially. But yeah, it looks really cool. I love it. Probably not going to be the most comfortable thing in the world. And it might crease really badly. That might be the only thing I'd say is probably the only bygone. But again, I wear my trainers. I don't really care about them kind of looking a bit fucked up and stuff. So if, you get, if you're more of a sneaker that doesn't like their stuff creasing and you walk like a duck, then it's going to be a problem. But if you like actually wearing your shoes, it shouldn't be an issue. The signature midfoot uh, cages on the shoe have been made, have been opened up with the circular cutouts and accented by exposed black stitching. Huh, what did it mean? So this bit here. I don't think that's the same thing though, is it? This mean that mesh bit has been kind of pulled out onto the entire shoe, maybe. Maybe that's what they mean. This entire thing is basically made of the entire, yeah, maybe that's the thing that he's done. Either way, it's a very clever design. I like it. Uh, it continues here. Branding comes in the form of the Jumpman, uh, marked 3M. Oh, it's 3M as well. Beautiful upside down Air Jordan patches. Uh, 23 marked on the heel. Nike Air, Mo- Nike Air motifs at the rear. The other continuing elements of Virgil and Nike's ongoing collaboration partnership include the Helvetica Industrial Techs. Uh, the, the shoelaces emblazoned on the laces. Elevating the shoe is a black midsole with the speckled grey splashes. Although a release date has yet to surface, the Off-White Jordan 5 has been rumoured to arrive in February around NBA All-Star Weekend, which is definitely true because I imagine, I imagine they put out all the releases around the same sort of time uh, or sometime in April, price around 225 Actually, I think there's actually information about it, but I hope they 
Hope it's not like a complex con thing where they only release it during complex con. Hope it kind of gets put out to everyone else. But let's see. I remember seeing an actual image where they had all this uh, stuff with everyone else that they're doing. Yeah, definitely here. Definitely here. I feel, I feel like I got it from Hype Beast here. Some news here actually that kind of spoke about it. So this is an article from Hype Beast. It says, yeah, Jordan Brand tabs eight Chicago creatives for an NBA All Star weekend uh, kind of collection. So I'm assuming NBA All Star weekend is going to be hosted in Chicago. So they tapped all Chicago natives to go and kind of put a shoe out which is great um, kind of timing because it means that they can do a shoe just after Virgil dropped the Nike 10 collaboration. So again, kudos to the universe or maybe they had planned this all in all. In all. But again, it's, it's clear to see who's the standout shoe in this whole collection. Isn't it? So what's the most... Um, but it's interesting who's going who's to garner... I mean, we know who's going to garner the highest resale, but in terms of just the peel wearing week, day in, day out, we're going to see what they're going to do. Oh, they got the guy from Lyrical Lemonade there too as well. That's awesome. So yeah, this is an article from Hype Beast. It says NBA also on weekenders on the horizon. Jordan Brand has gone beyond uh, the star-studded game by tapping up Chicago's creative community for an eight and eight collection consisting of apparel and footwear crafted by eight creatives, eight different er uh, area-based creatives, and their crews. The collective the collection uses City Pacific Transit lines and colors to interpret the Jordan Brand's unite ethos. Okay, leading f things off are Virgil Abloh's found Virgil Abloh of White Founder. Apart from how you anticipate Jordan 5, what's called a full set of black and red apparel. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. Let's go through the images quickly and see if there's anything nice that we like, apart from the Virgil's Jordans. Yeah, the, the jumper's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going into it, but I'm not really a fan of wearing Jordan clothing. I think if you don't play basketball, wearing basketball clothing is a bit awful. And again, a little bit of a scream, oh, what about the sneakers? Sneakers is different. People wear, people wear basketball, I mean, tennis shoes, and they don't play tennis. But wearing tennis clothing, like day-to-day, -day, just around town, is really, really cringe. Same with Jordan stuff. I've never played basketball a day in my life. Like maybe I chuck the ball to an, I chuck the ball in the net once. You know what I mean? I'm saying I'm chucking as well. I'm pretty sure that's not how you call it. But yeah, wearing Jordan brand clothing is not on my is not on my horizon. Uh, but yeah, I like the hoodie. Hoodies are pretty cool. Again, I've no idea who these crews are. Just looking at the Jordans themselves. Yeah, some pretty decent ones in the collection so far. It looks like by the looks of it, I'm sure the Chicago will come out because I'm assuming there's quite a big creative. Uh, sort of like streetwear, you know, art, hip hop scene in Chicago, anyway. So I'm sure they'll do very well. Oh yeah, RSVP is in Chicago as well. So there's no and what's the other one? Um, is it Nomad? The Scott the other store? Is it Civil? I've got there's another big one too in Chicago. So I'm sure they these guys will all do very well. I'm sure their creative crews will come out and support them in their droves. But apart from the off whites, there's not really any more I've seen here that I actually give a toss about. But I like how they tied it all in together. But yeah, the the off whites look insanely good. I'm not gonna wear them like that with a tongue out. I think it looks a bit insane. Maybe with shorts. Um, and again, I'll be tempted to wear them with skinny jeans, but skinny jeans are not in anymore, innit? They're out. No one's wearing skinny jeans anymore. I don't want to be that guy wearing skinny jeans at the party, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for those. When they're gonna? When's the due date for that? February fifteenth. Okay, cool. Coming up Valentine's Day weekend. So if you've got the money, definitely save up. Make sure you get a pair for yourself. Right.